Are you on the market for a reliable workhouse laptop that can tackle office based tasks as well as content creation such as 4K editing in applications such as Adobe Premiere? Well today I may have the perfect laptop for you. This is the Dell Latitude 5540. This is Dell's 15.6 inch business range laptop that I will be reviewing today. I will be covering the topics on screen now and answering whether you should avoid it, shortlist it or go ahead and buy it. This is the laptop spec on screen now and this particular spec costs under £1,000. Let's find out what's inside the box. In this compartment here we have the 65 watt power adapter with a USB-C connection and here is the UK to 3 pin lead. Here is a laptop and underneath it you have the manual. Now let's take a closer look at the laptop. Slipping off the fabric cover you are presented with a Dell logo on the laptop lid. For those unfamiliar with Dell laptops this is the typical design throughout all their range. This one is finished in a kind of apple space grey finish. It's got an almost glittery shimmer in the light. Opening the laptop up the same colour is used around the keyboard area. The keys are dark grey with an almost black finish. You'll have an Intel logo in the corner giving you an indication of what processor is lurking inside. The display on this model I am reviewing is a 15.6 inch Full HD 16x9 IPS anti-glare non-touch with a screen resolution of 1920x1080 at 60Hz. It has a 250 nit brightness level which is good in general office use but you might suffer outdoors. There is a bezel running around the screen, it's much more thicker around the top. This screen is able to go flat which gives you a good flexible viewing angle which is great for those with standing depth. You can select from two 13 gen i5 processors. The i5 both have a 12 megabyte cache, 10 cores and 12 threads. The i5 runs up to 4.6 gigahertz on turbo with the 1345U running up to 4.7 gig. The i5 processor I have here runs on par with a 9th gen i7 in the Precision 3000 series laptop I use to edit all my videos and create thumbnails with. I have been using it for over a year now and it performs great in applications like Adobe Premiere, Photoshop and Lightroom. This i5 also has more cores too and outperforms it in every aspect. There are two i7 options, however, the additional cost starts bringing the laptop in the mobile precision price range. The 5540 has an integrated Intel Iris XE graphics, which outperforms my dedicated Quadro P620, which sits inside my precision. This shows that technology has moved along, and these integrated GPUs are great. This will ensure you can export a 10 minute 4K video in the same time it takes to make a cup of tea. And you can also play the odd low graphics intensive game. For example, here we have Counter Strike. The settings are set to low and we are hitting lows of 30 and highs of 60, which for built in graphics is amazing. You get two options for memory, 8 GB DDR4 running at 3200 MHz or a 16 GB option. Personally guys, I think for content creation and multitasking, you just need to have at least 16 gigabytes. Now I did throw the bottom off and it has two memory slots which means you can upgrade it yourself if you don't fancy paying Dell's premiums on memory. You get an option of a 256 gigabyte M2 NVMe or a 512 gigabyte NVMe. You also have an additional hard drive slot which is great news for those who might be using this for video editing. However, please note that the primary NVMe can utilize a standard size NVMe as shown here and the second NVMe slot will have to be the smaller 2230 type NVMe and this only runs at Gen 3 speed. With that said, go for the 256GB to keep the cost low. You can throw in the additional larger NVMe later. Here are the benchmark results. I have been using this generation of Dells for a while. The keyboard layout is great. You also have a number pad. The keys have a matte feel and provide a good feedback. It has a nice size buttonless touchpad. Your fingers glide over smoothly and it has a gentle, nearly silent click. The large touchpad does make it easier to edit on the go, but realistically you probably want a travel mouse. You only get the option to buy a free cell 54 watt hour battery with express charge. I ran PC Mark 10 battery test and you can get up to 7.5 hours on office based tasks which is great knowing it can last a full working day if needed. Given the size of the screen, this laptop is not light, with a starting weight of 1.6 kilograms. This laptop I have here with its spec weighs just over 1.8 kilograms and just under four pounds. Including the charger, it comes in at just over 2.1 kilograms or 4.6 pounds. Again, most of you will not be lugging this around, it will sit on a desk and be moved between the office and meeting room. Now if you want something lighter, then consider the Latitude 5330. I reviewed this earlier in the year. Click on the link up here to watch that video. Starting on the right side of the laptop, 
we have the micro SD card slot, a universal audio port, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 with PowerShare, a HDMI 2.0 port, and an RJ45 network port, and a wedge-shaped lock slot. Over on the other side, we have two USB-C Thunderbolt 4.0 with power delivery and display. And finally, we have the smart card reader. There is a SIM card slot, which is optional, which this laptop does have, so it's handy for those working mobile. It does have a generous amount of ports. However, if it's not enough for you, then you may want to consider buying the Dell WD22 TV4 dots, which allows you to connect via one cable and gives you instant connection to all your accessories, including up to four screens. I reviewed this here. Its speakers are mounted under the laptop and produce quite a loud but hollow sound. The quality sounds okay in my opinion. There's no bass at all. This is some royalty free music at 50%. And now 100%. It's got a full HD webcam and you also have a privacy shutter which you can flick to the right to cover the lens. Here's me demonstrating the quality of the camera. This has express sign-in with Windows Hello via the IR camera, unlocking your PC with your face. This feature alone saves so much time and I 100% recommend getting it. When you walk away, it locks. If you look away, the screen darkens, saving your battery life. You're able to log in with a fingerprint reader if you have selected this as an option. Should you avoid it? Should you shortlist it or should you go ahead and buy it? I would buy it. I'm experienced with Dell products and can vouch for their quality. And based on my experience, this laptop will last you at least five years. You pay the premium for the business range, but parts are better when comparing it to consumer range models. And you get a three year basic warranty direct from Dell. The laptop model itself with the specs I have here will tackle most tasks you throw at it. And those who edit 4K videos or use Photoshop will be able to use this without spending a lot more on laptops with dedicated GPUs. The screen resolution is limited, but if you couple it with a WD22 TV4 dock, it will take you to another level of productivity. So I would definitely recommend buying one of those docks if you end up purchasing the laptop. I am demonstrating the laptop running two 27 inch screens at 1440p resolution, and it runs smoothly in Photoshop and Premiere. Now, if you have money to burn, then why not go ahead and watch my review of a 7,000 pound spec Dell laptop here. Alternatively, you can watch a review of my £350 Dell Precision over here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If there's any questions in this review that I did not answer, please leave a comment below. And for more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.